How real are those issues that some other countries have engaged in these illegal practices? I'm not sure whether that applies to steel and aluminium. It certainly could perhaps apply elsewhere, and perhaps it doesn't apply to Canada. I don't know. Well, look, certainly we know there are countries that uh, heavily subsidize, that there are companies that are willing to uh, dump uh, abroad. And we've also got state-owned enterprises, or at least nominally state-influenced enterprises, which can certainly impact market considerations. It, that's absolutely the case here as well. So what will this do? In your view, can this spark off retaliation from other countries in, will that happen? In, what are the chances of that happening it's, in this, resulting in, in protectionism, globally speaking, in a trade war, arguably? Well, uh, uh, personally, I've, I've never been entirely comfortable with the phrase uh, uh, trade war. I do think, however, that we are looking at uh, a strong probability for an escalation in, in trade tensions. But one thing I would say is, you know, let's everybody just kind of take a deep breath here. Thus far, all we have is an announcement from the president and a fairly general announcement from the president. He has not yet signed any orders and all of the details on how these tariffs would be implemented. Would there be exemptions? Would there not be exemptions? Would there be carve-outs for certain steel or aluminum sectors? We don't know any of this. So although it's concerning and although the possibility that we might be headed to a period of, of heightened trade tensions I think is very real, let's take a deep breath and wait until we get some more details.